Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the attractions in Universal Studios Beijing and stick around until the end of the video as we discuss what exciting additions could be added over the next few years. The park opened in September 2021 as the sixth and newest Universal Studios park and the third in Asia after Universal Studios Japan and Singapore. It is the largest Universal park ever created and I was lucky enough to attend the grand opening as well as making a few return visits over the year. It has a great mixture of unique rides and shows and some classic Universal attractions. As you make your way through City Walk Beijing and past the infamous Spinning Globe, instead of the classic Universal Gates, you'll need to walk under the Universal Studios Grand Hotel, which serves as the entrance to the park. Similar to other Universal Parks, you'll head straight into the first land, Hollywood Boulevard, that is filled with lots of shopping and dining locations like Mel's Drive-In, Pete's Coffee, and of course the Universal Studios Store. At the end of the boulevard, you'll be treated to an amazing view of the central lake, overlooking many of the park's lands and attractions. In this area, you can also enjoy two of the park's shows, with the first being Lights, Camera, Action, a special effects show hosted by Jong-E Mao and Steven Spielberg. It has a fun pre-show video with the two legendary directors showcasing different special effects used in movies before heading into the main show set in a boat warehouse. A variety of effects are used within the show including water, wind and of course fire which results in a fun and action-packed viewing. The other attraction is the amazing live-action show Untrainable, which is based on the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. This show features some beautiful special effects with the use of screens, movable sets, and breathtaking puppetry, including an animatronic of Toothless that actually flies around the theater. With a fun storyline and amazing soundtrack, this is a show that can't be missed. If the rumors are true, this show may be added to the new Epic Universe Park coming to the Universal Orlando Resort. As with all my guides, I'll be heading around the park clockwise, which now takes us to our next area, Transformers Metro Base. Although being unique to the park, this land's attractions are very similar to Marvel Superhero Island over in Islands of Adventure. Instead of the Hulk, there is the Decepta Coaster, a huge steel launched roller coaster that features seven inversions. You'll need to board the Autobot Coaster as it heads through the Decepticon Driller in the process of creating Energon. This is by far the most thrilling attraction in the park and will please all coaster fans. Next up is Bumblebee Boogie a teacup style spinning attraction that has the amazing animatronic of Bumblebee on the decks as he plays some classic dance tunes as you go round and round. Watch out as Ratchet is ready to pull the plug at any time. You can also meet Megatron, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, or the park exclusive Windblade and the Transformers more than meets the eye, meet and greet throughout the day. This has been a big hit with the Chinese fans and can often get queues for over an hour. Make sure you leave plenty of time to meet your favorite Autobots or Decepticons. The final attraction in the land is Transformers Battle for the Allspark, which is more commonly known as Transformers The Ride 3D at other Universal Parks. If this 3D dark ride feels familiar, then you are not mistaken, as it uses the same ride system as the popular Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man over in Islands of Adventure. You team up with Optimus Prime as you battle against the Decepticons in many exciting show scenes, featuring a variety of effects. We now move on to another unique land in the park, Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness. This land is set entirely indoors, which makes it perfect for the ever-changing weather in Beijing and has lots of hidden details and is perfect for younger visitors to explore. The main attraction is Kung Fu Panda Journey of the Dragon Warrior, which is a dark boat ride where you follow Poe's journey to becoming the Dragon Warrior as he battles the great fighter Kai. It uses a mixture of screens, audio animatronics and other special effects on this fun adventure that all the family can enjoy. Next is Carousel of Kung Fu Heroes, which allows you to choose your favorite hero to ride upon on this classic carousel attraction. You can also try another spinning attraction, Lanterns of Legendary Legends. You'll ride in a beautiful lantern as it rises and falls and changes color to a backdrop of relaxing music. You'll also be able to get an amazing bird's eye view of the spectacular land. 
Other attractions in this area include the Peach Tree of Heavenly Wisdom, a cool hourly show that uses projection mapping to change the seasons of the landscape on the central peach tree. You can also meet Poe and friends at the special meet and greet area near the exit of the Kung Fu Panda Journey of the Dragon Warrior and younger visitors will love Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp, a fun playground area filled with fun interactive games as well as a screen show Poe Live that uses special digital puppetry that allows you to communicate with the Dragon Warrior himself. Overall, this is a great land to relax in, especially during the hotter and colder months. We now move to the next land, Waterworld, which houses the classic Waterworld stunt show. It is the first time that Waterworld has been given its own land and also includes a restaurant, snack booths and some other live entertainment throughout the day. The main attraction is a stunt show featuring a variety of amazing special effects and stunts including pyrotechnics, fire and of course water effects. This is a fan favourite so make sure you catch a showing and we suggest arriving at least 30 minutes before the start of the show. The next land is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter that has consistently been the busiest area of the park with many visitors renting robes and wands and even hiring professional photographers to get some perfect photos on their trip. Hogsmeade features plenty of shopping and dining locations where you can buy a wand in Ollivander's, chug on some butterbeer in the Three Broomsticks or get a chocolate frog in Honeydukes. The possibilities are endless. Housed in the Hogwarts Castle is the main attraction, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, a motion-based dark ride. The queue line is fantastically themed to the hallways and rooms within Hogwarts, which feels like an attraction within itself. The ride explores many different recognisable scenes from the books and films and features a plethora of Harry Potter characters and creatures in a mixture of screens, audio animatronics and special effects. This is a fantastic attraction that always has a long wait, so I would suggest either investing in the Express Pass or joining the single rider line to bring your wait time down. The other attraction in this area is Flight of the Hippogriff, a junior outdoor roller coaster where Hagrid teaches visitors how to fly a hippogriff. You will see plenty of theming throughout, including Hagrid's hut and the Forbidden Forest, as well as some great views of all the Wizarding World. Throughout the day, you can watch one of the three shows. Frog Choir is an a cappella performance of some Hogwarts students and their frogs as they sing familiar Wizarding songs. The Tri-Wizard Spirit Rally sees the students of Hogwarts, Boobatons and Durmstrang perform dances to cheer on their classmates. And Nighttime Magic at Hogwarts Castle, which lights up the beautiful school at various times throughout the day. Other notable differences with the world is the inclusion of the Black Lake that offers a great spot for some amazing photos and you'll also be able to see the ancient ruin stones near the entrance of the land. Also, due to the colder winter climates, you may be able to experience the land in a blanket of real snow, which you can see from these amazing clips here. Just like in Orlando and other Universal Resorts, Hogsmeade has been a huge success for good reason, and even if you're a casual Harry Potter fan, you can't help but feel the magic in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. We now move on to my favourite land in the park, Jurassic World Isla Nublar. It features four attractions as well as lots of different dining and shopping locations. The main attraction is Jurassic World Adventure, a dark ride that uses the same ride system as Transformers 3D and The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, but feels totally unique. There is a great mixture of screens and animatronics used throughout the ride with some amazing scenes, including a chase scene and a dinosaur showdown between the Indominus Rex and the classic T-Rex. I believe that this is the best dark ride on the planet right now, so make sure you take a ride when you visit Universal Studios Beijing. Another major attraction in Isla Nublar is Jurassic Flyers, a steel inverted powered coaster that takes you on a nice relaxing ride around the land as well as over the central lake, giving you an amazing view of the park. A portion of the track and the ride entrance can be found inside Camp Jurassic, an indoor playground featuring lots of interactive games, slides and rope bridges, which is the perfect place for the younger visitors to have fun and explore. This is also where you can meet a baby raptor at various times throughout the day. The final attraction in the land is the Raptor Encounter, where you can get up close to Blue or one of the other raptors from the Jurassic World films. You will be given training on how to handle the raptor as well as a chance to get your very own selfie with the beautiful creatures. 
We now move on to the final area of the park, Minion Land, which is the largest minion based land at any of the Universal Parks. It is home to four attractions, starting with the classic Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, the simulator ride that transforms you into minions before heading on an adventure through many different scenes. The ride includes two pre-show scenes in Gru's living room and the laboratory. This is a fun attraction for all the family to enjoy. You can catch a showing of the live show Sing on Tour. This features characters from Illumination Sing and has plenty of well-known tracks and a cute original storyline. The final two attractions can be found inside Super Silly Funland, where you'll be able to try and win some minion plushies at the Midway Games and get to meet some of your favourite minions. The first attraction is Loop De Doop De, a fun family coaster which is the perfect chance to introduce younger visitors to thrill rides. Finally, we have Super Swirly, a spinning attraction that allows you to choose to go up or down and give some great views of the land. Some street performances can be found throughout the park, as well as some character meet and greets along Hollywood Boulevard. Each day, you can catch the Universal on Parade that features 12 amazing floats and characters from Despicable Me, Minions, Shrek, Madagascar, and Kung Fu Panda. The resort includes its own city walk with lots of shopping and dining locations, including a Toothsome Chocolate Emporium, the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar, an IMAX movie theater, and another Universal Studios store. There are also two official hotels, the Universal Studios Grand Hotel, which offers amazing views of the park, and the New Resort Hotel, which has a more traditional Chinese design. The park has had a turbulent opening year due to the pandemic and has had multiple closures which also affected the construction and opening of the park. As the resort is fairly large and there are definite plans to build a second park, we hope this won't delay the expansion projects over the coming years. We already know that the Wizarding World of Harry Potter was designed to include a Hogwarts Express that will link up the second park just like at the Universal Orlando Resort but no other details are known about this future second gate. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you would like to help support the channel, then consider subscribing, or check out my new Patreon page for early access to videos starting from just $2 a month. If you're planning a trip to Universal Studios Beijing, then check out trip.com for some great deals on tickets and hotels at the resort. Take a look at my affiliate link down below to make some awesome savings. I've also just released some new merch, which you can take a look at in the link below. And if you want to see more of Universal Studios Beijing, then check out my vlog from the grand opening or when I revisited the park this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.